Everyone with a family knows the dreaded question of the day is what's for dinner. So we asked the food nanny, Lizzie Heaps, to come in and talk all about it. Hi, Lizzie. Hey, thank you for having me. Of course. Okay, so obviously you are the food nanny. This is one of those brands that is generational. Your mom was the original food nanny. Now you've taken over the brand and taken it digital, social media. I love everything about it. Why did you choose to pick up where your mom left off? Because honestly, I told my mom, the message never dies. Family dinner time is something that's so important and it's going to be important till the day we die. Mm -hmm. And so it's, we have come up with just an easy way to help families every day, get around the dinner table, connect, um, bond. And that's where you learn. And anyways, you grow together with family. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk about all of that good stuff, yeah. but I have to address the delicious things that are sitting on the counter. What is that? Yeah. So these are our pumpkin chocolate chip cookies with maple frosting though. That is what takes them to a whole nother level. It's oh. incredible. So this is so easy to mix. You can just do it in your KitchenAid. Super simple. I have the recipe and we'll link the recipe on your thing. But then you're going to add the maple extract. So we've got butter, powdered sugar, and then the maple extract is what gives it this brown color. And oh, it is like you are eating pure, real maple syrup. It's the most incredible thing. So all you do is mix it up so easy. We love to just use easy recipes, but they're the best ones you'll ever have in your life, really. So okay. I'm going to show you. So after you just mix this, um, I even tell you, I've got the pumpkin bread in my cookbook for the love of Kamut, and you could even put this frosting on top of the pumpkin bread. So look how insane. Oh I my gosh. One of these. But our pumpkin cookies are made with our flour. Um, and that's what everybody thinks when they hear kamut, they think that kamut can only be for like bread. Um, but we do it all. So I, Okay, so, okay, there's so much in there. So first of all, pumpkin chocolate chip cookies, delightful. I'm totally all about it. We will link the recipe and, and it's very easy. You also have the book. Uh, um, explain to me what Kamut is. I've never even heard of this. Okay, so America has it, which is crazy. So long story short, we actually discovered Kamut in Italy. Um, we had always heard of the wheat Kamut, but we went into a pizza place and they made a pizza out of the white. So like you're all purpose. And we were just going crazy. We're like, how, how did they, we've never seen this ever before. So anyways, we came back to America. We actually found out that it's grown up in Montana and they have been shipping this to Italy for 30 years. And so Italy and Austria, they did a study because people were starting to get, you know, like gluten intolerant, having stomach issues. And if you're not eating bread and pasta in the Italian culture, I mean, that's not, right. that's, that's their life. And so they did a study and this has less gluten than any white flour in the world. So it's known for taste, texture, and digestibility. And first it was instantly the taste. Everything that you make into your cookies, your bread, it doesn't matter, cakes, it's all we use. It's upgraded the flavor, but then where it's never been genetically modified, it is an ancient grain, like you said, it's pure strain, naturally enriched. How do you get better? How do you get better? You can't. You I can't. have never even heard of it. And of course, yeah. you have a book all about that, which is available on the website, which leads me to my last um, point here, which is, and that's how we started, which is what's for dinner. And I know the stress. I don't even have children, but I know the stress <laughs> of what's for dinner. Yeah. Um, and tell me how you solve, and your mom also was trying to solve yeah. that problem. Well, okay, so dinner comes around every day, just like breakfast and lunch. We try to hide it. We try to fight it, but you can't. Um, so I have four little kids. I was the baby of seven kids. So trust me, everybody wants to be fed when it is dinner time. My kids come in the door. So when you meal plan, it not only saves you time and money, really, but when it's four o'clock and dinner time rolls around, you're prepared to make dinner. So we came up with a two-week meal plan. One is just too short. You feel like you're going back for more things. And a month, there's some that do a month, and that's just, that's too long. It's crazy. 
So you go, we make a plan. We have two other cookbooks that are totally dinner and they come, we break it down into theme nights because the hardest part about dinner is trying to figure out what to make. So you have to make sure you get a variety of food. You don't eat the same thing back to back. So I show you how to do that. I give you a two week um, free meal plan on our website. Okay, so not just the free meal plan, but then which you just told me and I was not aware because I saw the meal plans on your website. They look super easy. And then there's like, go to this page on the cookbook to find that recipe. But you said for free on Instagram, you teach people how to do the meal every day. Every day, every day. I wake up and I'm trying to get you excited to get back into the kitchen. We, we, I'm super passionate about food. I love good food. And so yeah, every day I'm showing you how to make either it's the bread or it's dessert, the dessert or the dinner. So I'm always cooking. I, I live right here. In this Bless your heart, cause I could not. Um, and then I wanna just address one more thing, which is, you know, lots of people don't, one, you know, good healthy food sometimes is a little more expensive. And, you know, lots of people are like, I just don't have the time or energy to be making dinner all the time. So how does your meal planning help those people? Okay, so there's all different kind of excuses. I mean, I'm super, we're all busy. We all are busy. And now, especially today, our kids are in a million activities. It's, it's, it's crazy. But if you try to just either make the dinner ahead of time, like sometimes in the morning, if I know that I'm going to have a crazy night, and we've got all this going on, try to figure out a time to make dinner or try to have somebody help, maybe an older kid, or maybe the husband can prepare it. But it's, it's really, if you don't have the ingredients in the house, who's going to start doing it? So I like to, you know, set out what's for that meal that day and just, you know, try to have somebody help you or prepare ahead of time. You can, I show you on, on my Instagram, some days that you can prep the meal to a certain point and then you can bake it off right before dinner. Right. So it's all about, we, we love good ingredients and you want to eat healthy, but we eat it all. You can have everything you want within portion control, yeah. but it is our commute and our salt that has upgraded everything we've ever done. <laughs> well, <laughs> I am interested in this whole commute idea and I'm definitely interested in those maple cookies. I wish I could fly I down to them right you. now and get I'm those. I'm gonna eat them right now. I gotta <laughs> eat them. I'm gonna all right. it. Lizzie, nice to meet you. And we will know that we'll link all those recipes to uh, beyond.tv. Thank you. Thank you.